before we start, I think it is important that I mention that this is potentially bannable, whether you get manually banned or banned by the anti-cheat. Use this at your own risk if you value your account, but if you want my presets for my color filters and everything else, then just keep watching the video. Yo, what is up everyone, it's Nerdy, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get my reshade color filters that I've shown in my previous video, since a lot of people have been asking me for those. So we're going to get right into it, so first off, you're going to go into your web browser, and you're going to type in reshade.me. It's going to pop up with this right here, and you should be on this website. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on download, and you're going to be greeted with all of this. And you have two options we're going to click on this one right here as you can see it's installing reshade right here you're going to open that up and as you can see you've got a little little window and you're going to look for battle bit which is right here as you can see it has the steam like where it's installed and everything so you're going to click on next and right here you have to select the rendering API so you're going to use DirectX 10 12 and 11 and click on next I've already installed it so I'm going to just modify it if it asks you for a preset we're going to skip that and as you can see right here this is important you're going to uncheck all and you're going to check all so that you have all the effects just to make sure that there's no problems with what we're going to be doing next. So you're going to click on next. And as you can see right here, it's downloading everything. So you're just going to wait for that to, to download. And I'll see you guys when we're back. Okay, now after we've successfully installed Reshade, as you can see, we've got everything here. We've got the click to finish button and everything. So you're just going to click finish and we're done with the reshade installation. So now you're going to go to the description down below and I'm going to be leaving you this folder which you can download using the Google Drive link down in the description below. You've got instructions in case you're lost with what you're supposed to do. You've got the suite FX folder which have some tweaks in them so that it's going to look way better than what you would originally have. And you have the preset with all the custom colors, the custom color filters, I mean, all the crosshair settings that I have, everything else. So now, what you're going to need to do is, I'm actually going to close this, so I can actually show you. You're going to go to your Steam, and you're going to do a right click on BattleBit. You go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. And as you can see right here, you've got all of your folders here. You've got reshade shaders, you've got the all everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the folder I've given you. You're going to drag Sweet Effects right into there. And you're also going to drag the preset right there so that you have it already there and everything else. I'm actually going to copy them back so that you can also have them. And now this is actually optional, but you can also have a custom crosshair if you want, which I'll be leaving you here. All you have to do is just simply, let me remove it so I can show you. You just have to simply click on reshade shaders, shaders, and as you can see, you have the crosshair, custom crosshair right here. And you'll just have to drag it. I dragged it wrongly, hold up. There you go, you have it right here. So now we're just gonna close out of everything and I'll be launching BattleBit so that I can actually show you what are the, what are the results. Alright, so the game's launching, and as you can see right here, you, you know that you've successfully installed Reshade when you see this little, little bar at the top, which says Reshade, Reshade is compiling, successfully installed, and everything. So now you're going to press your home key, if you have a TKL keyboard, or a full size keyboard, if for the 60% keyboards, I don't know what key it is, you have to see what function key or it is, or whatever. So now you're going to click on home, skip the tutorial. As you can see, you have all these options right here. But what we're interested in is the preset. So you're going to click here. And as you can see, it's going to put the battle bit root folder. And as you can see right here, this is the custom.ini that we had that you dragged into the battle bit folder. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click select. And as you can see right here, it's now there. You have my custom crosshair. 
you have all my settings right here and then we're gonna go in the shooting range and we're gonna show you the difference all right guys as you can see we are in the range currently and we're just gonna go to the little bots right here and as you can see this game the game looks just so much more different as you can see if i like just remove everything uh hold up you can see how washed out the colors are and everything it doesn't look as vibrant the visibility isn't the greatest but if we just put everything back on as you can see everything just pops out way more it's way more soothing for the eyes it just makes everything just look so much better so that's about it you've managed to install a custom reshade preset you now have a custom crosshair and you have the competitive advantage by having way more visibility and having the targets pop out more so that you can easily see them so thank you guys for watching i might make a settings video soon just let me know if you're interested in that and without further ado check out my other videos on battle i'll be uploading more of those and with that i'll see you next time